join us. It is day three of Finn's two week board and train. Today we're working on distance, duration, and distractions. Oh, yeah. Continuing with our follow command, looking for that nice loose leash, also visually checking in and turning when I turn. become real important once we start the heel command. That'll be later on. Sit and wait. I'm using my body in the leash throughout the day as a distraction. Follow. Wait. Okay, so you can see that was an automatic sit. I stopped, he moved around to the side of me, got right here in front and sat. There was no sign language, there was no verbal command. Again, the key component to sit is when your feet stop moving, a dog will either stand or sit. Follow. to change out his six foot leash for a 15 foot leash. Sit. Wait. Then come. Ben, sit. Ben, come. Sit. Good job. Yes. Good boy. Hey, so I'm going to go ahead and give him a, a food exchange. So what I'm looking for him to get used to is dragging the weight of his 15 foot leash. It does tend to wrap around his legs and cross over his back. Uh, dogs normally are sensitive to anything wrapped around their feet, so this is really good practice. Break. Yes. Okay, so I took it out of his mouth that time, and here we go with his food exchange. Good boy, good job. Okay, get ready. Break. Good job. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Place, recall, sit and wait. I'm looking for a distance, the end of the 15 foot leash and further. This gives me an evaluation of whether he's understanding the language of his e-collar. Wait. Ben, 
come. Sit. Wait. Wait. Ben, come. Sit. Wait. Ben, come. Wait. Nice solid sit. Again for duration. Then come. Then follow, follow. Good boy. Come. Then sit. Then place. Then place. Then come. In this session, I'm looking for greater distance. He is dragging his 15-foot lead. I'm continuing to evaluate how well he understands the language of his electronic collar. As he gains more and more experience understanding that language, that's when I'll unsnap the 15-foot lead. I'm not certain what sort of distractions are really high distractions for him. Uh, that will be determined as I move out to different areas outside of this environment. I do know that within this environment that he is distracted by the noises up on the street. Uh, lots of dump trucks and cement trucks going by, lots of construction, and he seems to tune into that. With distraction training, it's always about gaining focus and keeping focus in order to complete whatever command has been started. Then come. Then place. Then come. Then sit. Then place. Evaluating his understanding of his uh, electronic collar. Fin place. Fin cup. Fin place. Fin cup. Fin place. Ben, come. Ben, place. Ben, come. Ben, place.
come. Thin place. Place. Yes, he dropped it on the place for here. Yes. Good job, Finn.